Hi, this is Tech Hobbit, and I'm going to demonstrate for you a super simple unipolar motor that just happens to fit in an Altoid tin. So let's see what we've got in our kit here. We've got a piece of wire. Any size wire will do, as long as you can bend it a little bit. We've got a battery. Any size battery will do. We've got a screw. In this case, I'm using a deck screw. You need something with a good sharp point and a non-coated screw, non-coated or painted. It will be conducting, so we need to be able to get through it. And I've got two small magnets. You could get by with just one. These look like this. You get them in the craft department at Walmart. And what we're going to do is place a magnet on the head of the screw, center it somewhat. I've also made a little round disc, but it doesn't fit in my tin, to help observe the motion of our little motor. We'll get that on there about centered. And then the magnetism coming through the, the screw will adhere to the battery. I use the positive side of the battery because the little button tends to be a nice little bearing for that to ride on. And the next step is to apply power. I'm going to... your magnets will determine which direction the motor turns. And we don't even use a coil of wire in this motor and you can see very clearly that that is just... wants to produce power. Look at that. So think about, um, also I'd like to point out that we're using a direct short here, so all you want to do is tap that magnet every now and then, the edge of the magnet with the wire. You don't want to keep it steady. We've got a dead short going on there, and it'll drain your battery pretty quick. So think about what's going on there using the left-hand rule of uh, current, flow, magnetic field, and motion. Try and determine how that's working. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. You can see we can fit all of this very quickly and nifty right back into the tin. This is great to pull out and show little kids or even uh, engineers. Altoids. Super simple unipolar motor. You can find more on my Instructables site by Tech Hobbit. Hope you enjoyed it.